Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video I will take a look at what's new in Avada 7.12. This is the third update for the year and brings some great new features and improvements to the builder. While we continue to prioritise our development work on our next major release, Avada 8, we have managed to incorporate a lot of nice features into this release. Let's take a look. Let's start with the title element. Here there is a totally new title type called Scroll Reveal. This joins text, marquee, rotating and highlight as the various title types available. With this you get eight ways of revealing your titles as you scroll, including color change, unblur and turn. In addition to this there is a new highlight effect in the highlight title type called marker, and it has a range of options including a smudge effect and color and font options. As well with the marquee title type, there's a new option for a masked fade out effect. Very nice. These changes make the title element even more mighty than it already was. For more information on the title element title types, please see our how to use the Avada title element title types video linked below. The image carousel element also received a major workover for Avada 7.12. Five layouts have been added to this element, including standard, marquee, cover flow, cards, and slider. This element is now highly customizable and with it you can create some very cool image carousels indeed. With the slider layout, there are seven slider transitions including fade, flip, swipe and slide. Again, to see full details of this element, check out the how to use the Avada image carousel element documentation and video. With the postcards element, three new layouts have also been added in the form of marquee, cover flow and stacking cards, providing yet more flexibility with displaying custom post types. This gives the postcards element seven different layouts. With the slider layout, a whole bunch of transition styles have been added. You will also find a bunch of new options on the carousel layout. To see the full range of postcard layouts, view the postcard layouts in Avada video. On top of this, a much requested feature has been added with the ability to add alternate postcards into the postcards element, allowing you to create all sorts of cool layouts. You can control position and repetition, and they can even span multiple columns and have responsive controls. Check out the how to use alternate postcards in Avada video for a full rundown on this cool feature. If you use the postcard image element on your postcards, you will also find a new swap layout, which is really useful on WooCommerce products with multiple images. With this layout, it swaps out to the other product images as you mouse over the image area. This is great for products with multiple featured images. Speaking of WooCommerce, there has also been an update to the WooCart element, with live updating of the item subtotals as well as cart subtotals on quantity change. Additionally, if you're using them, the dynamic data cart counter and also the menu cart counter and menu mini cart update as well. With 7.12, you will also find some new animation options for containers with 100% height scroll enabled. You can choose from 12 different transitions, up from six, and these can be selected in both the page options or as a global container default. Finally, with the button element, you can now enable independent hover text and icon options, allowing you to further customize the design of your buttons. Okay, that's the rundown on what's new with Avada 7.12. For a full list of all new features, improvements and fixes, see the Avada change log. And make sure to always keep Avada up to date to access all new features and improvements. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.